then they have the right to resist and fight the occupation by the Zionist criminals. But listen, this is an American woman. Look what she's saying. Joe Biden, listen to this. How are you still quiet? How? When you hear all of us, every person screaming free Palestine, cease fire, your own servicemen took his own life. His last words were screaming free Palestine and you still sit in silence. How dare you? There's a lot of anger. And uh, the, the, the Biden administration is like, well, we're going to scare them with Trump. They're going to be scared. You know what? Fuck Trump. I don't give a damn. I will. You know, I ain't going to vote for you. Oh, Trump. Colonel West. And anybody who's listening to me, don't vote for these people no more. These people are owned by lobbyists. It's the same people every year. Every year, the same people owned by the same people, by the same donors. APAC, the biggest, the strongest, the, the most feared Israeli Jewish lobby group is APAC. APAC is going to spend $100 million to get rid of four women in Congress. Two of them are Muslim. One is an Arab. One is a, a Muslim a Somali refugee. And the other one is Hispanic. And the other one is black. $100 million on four Congresswomen. That kind of money should be a fucking illegal, man. In the 70s, they had some, something called Abscam. Abscam was... Very simple. Jewish uh, organization were afraid. Uh, let me get this lady out of the way. Okay. Jewish organizations in the 70s were afraid of Arab oil money going to influence American politicians. So what they did is, in order to poison that money, in order to poison that money from politics, they used to dress as Arabs, you know, with the head car in there, and they used to go to congressmen and bribe them. Some of them got bribed, some of them didn't. So they scared the daylight out of them. So Arab money become poison, uh, oil money become poisonous in the 70s, 80s, 90s, until now. But Jewish Israeli money is kosher. It's kosher. <laughs> you know, uh, I think every year, APAC pays 120 or 100 congressmen or 50, 70 congressmen and women and send them to Israel on a free jungle, free airplane, free hotel, free food, free transportation, free everything every year. So the whole idea is that um, uh, we got to get money out of politics, especially lobbyists. So um, we're going to talk about this later in later on in Milwaukee, uh, Milwaukee and uh, today. Um, we're going to stay together and wait for the results. I hope we have that energy, guys. We are going to wait and see the results from um, from Michigan. Michigan, uh, there's a lot of big Arab American community. They're going to vote and committed later on. Let me see what we got here. This is the idiot here. Yeah. You want to hear him here? Yeah? Hold on. This is the president of the United States being asked about a ceasefire. He's eating ice cream. Oh. I was planning to go Thursday. What I didn't know is uh, my good friend apparently is gone. And will you meet with migrants while you're there, Mr. President? Well, I'm not going to announce ahead of time. Secret Service doesn't like me announcing exactly what I'm So you have the president of the United States eating ice cream and he's being asked about a ceasefire. He said the ceasefire maybe will be on Monday. It will be on Monday. Just the, an hour later, Netanyahu said, no, nah, there's no ceasefire. Joe doesn't know what he's talking about. Joe, did you call me first? Isn't that how it's supposed to work? I am the president of the United States when it comes to the Palestinian issue. I decide. You have to call me, Joe. Joe, don't make anything... Don't do things on your own. So the whole idea is that um, uh, let's watch something. Watch a video. This is a, a a video dedicated to the person who died by the Arab uh, TikTok. I know you don't speak, you don't speak Arabic, but let's listen to it anyway. Ready? <laughs>
Thank you. This was a, a, a video an ad, uh, about TikTok. It, it's a song about people being carried away in a, in, a, in a coffin of martyrs or people who die for a cause are usually carried in a martyr. It's a very sad song. And it is unbelievable, man. I don't know, man. Yesterday was kind of weird, man. When I first saw it, I said, what? I mean, uh, when I first saw the man, he burned himself. I was like, how should I react? I mean, this is different. This is uh, very, very different from any form of protest. This protest was done in the 1970s and 60s in Vietnam by the monks who used to burn themselves alive in protest. I don't know if it was protest against the Americans or against the Vietnamese. I don't know who they would put it, but I know monks, you know, the monks with the bald headed head, they, they used to uh, burn themselves to death as a form of protest. In Yemen, where I'm from, usually it's different. If a woman takes uh, uh, some old clothes of hers and burn it in front of the, the courthouse, everybody goes nuts. Everybody got to talk to that woman. Why she did that, she must be oppressed. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So let's see. This is Joe Biden last night. That's why I said he's a fucking idiot here. This is Joe Biden last night. Uh, having said along. You see, he still doesn't get it. This is not the time to say these things, Joe. This is the time to shut the fuck up and search for peace, you fucking idiot. Look what he's saying. Look. I get criticized for having said a long time ago, you need not be a Jew to be a Zionist. I'm a Zionist. Where there's no Israel, there's not a Jew in the world to be safe. So he's saying I'm a Zionist. <laughs> he's saying it clearly. Uh, listen, this is not the right moment, idiot. I mean, somebody should say, well, uh, Joe, Joe, this is not the right moment right now to be if you saying I'm a Zionist right now. You know what I'm saying? It's not the right moment, Joe. <laughs> it's not the right moment, man. Joe. Can you hear me, Joe? Joe, Joe, can you hear me? All right. I have this video. I found it on TikTok. This is like... Uh, okay. uh, shows you... This is a Jewish man in Israel. And somebody's asking him, are, are they the chosen people? Look what he says. Do you see Jews and non-Jews as the same? No. Okay, explain. I see Jews as the chosen nation. Okay. They uh, they were chosen by uh, Shem. They, uh, Does that make Jews better? Makes Jews different. Different. Not okay. Like so, not all the not all of our yeah. body parts are the same. They're all the same parts of the body, but there's the mind, there's the heart, there's the foot. They're not all the same. They're all part of the same body. Do they deserve the same rights? Let's put it that way. What the, Jews, non-Jews, anyone who lives here, let's say. Do, does everyone deserve the same? You treated the same. Let's put it that way. I think not. I think that this is the nation of nah. the Jews, that the Jews should have um, more rights than non-Jews. Like, give me an example of a right that a Jew should have that a non-Jew shouldn't. Right now, there's a right for Jews to come to Israel mm -hmm. and to get your citizenship, which isn't uh, for all non-Jews. Well, this is the land for the Jews. All Jews can come and live here. I think that Jews should have uh, more rights than non-Jews. Can you give another example? Maybe, maybe even a law that doesn't exist, or a right that doesn't, that should exist. Uh, uh, I think that the Jews should get land here, like the, like the Bible says, that each Jew, when uh, Yeshua came, with the Jews to Israel, each one got his own plot of land. So I think that each Jew should get his own plot of land. Yeah. The non-Jews uh, shouldn't. What about the ones who are already here? Uh, there's a lachak uh, issue of uh, having non-Jews in Israel. There's, uh, um. th there's what's called the Gir Toshav. Someone who, had, if he keeps the seven laws of uh, Bnei Noach. The Noahide Noach laws. And he could, uh, he could live in Israel.
There you have it. He's saying that um that God told him that each Jew would get a plot of a small plot of land in, in Palestine and that uh Jews are chosen and other peoples are not. Do you hear that, Christians? Uh, the Christian Zionists and Mike Pompey was dancing in Israel. Well, we're gonna gather them all together. Well, we're gonna gather all the Jews in Israel together. This way we have everybody in there. Then the rapture will happen and Jesus will come and all the Jews will be dead. That's what they think in the Christian right.